Well, hello from Hong Kong International Airport. It's been, I counted, nearly seven months since I last came to not just Hong Kong Airport, but any airport. Uh, obviously, it's because of the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. So I haven't been flying anywhere, which is, I think, very sensible. But, you know, I think it's gotten to a time where uh, I believe that the risks are uh, doable. Today, I'm flying from here in Hong Kong, where I live, back to the UK for a little visit. So I'm flying with Cathay Pacific uh, Airlines. It's actually nearly time to board the plane. Uh, I was already late coming into the airport. Check-in is absolutely fine because there's no one there. Got to the desk, then they asked me. Will you get in the health decoration box? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah, we need to scan this. Okay. In. And I thought I could do it in, you know, 30 seconds. Turns out it takes a lot longer. It's actually already supposedly the boarding time, but the one and only lounge that is open is uh, right next to the gate that I'm meant to be boarding from. So I'm gonna have a little look and see if I can access the business class lounge and check it out. So it turns out I don't actually have time to get into the lounge because uh, it's already boarding time. Uh, I suppose in some countries people are more worried about social distancing. Uh, in Hong Kong it's really not possible just anywhere in the city to properly do social distancing. So uh, you can see everyone wears face masks. Uh, everyone kind of does it anyway, but it's pretty much mandatory by law to do it in any enclosed public space definitely in Hong Kong airport as well. And the other thing that Hong Kong is just really hot on is sort of uh, temperature checks everywhere. So uh, you get a scan as you walk into the terminal and then when you are going in through security, somebody sort of uh, checks your forehead directly as well. And like some people who've decided to you know, show up in like what a full hazmat suit kind of thing. I'm pretty comfortable that I'm not gonna pick up the virus through my bare skin. Uh, I'll just be very careful uh, not to be touching my face, my eyes, uh, and this mask is actually quite good because it sticks out, so I don't really touch it. Time to board, I guess. I might just wait for this line to clear a little bit and then head off. I'm going to my seat in business class seat 14A, just kind of near the front. So far, as far as I can tell, everything looks the same, which is kind of reassuring, but I'm sure uh, as we go along, though, I'll find some things have changed. Uh, the cabin crew are all wearing some sort of eye protection, which is uh, probably wise. I did bring some uh, sort of light sunglasses just in case I think it's necessary but luckily in business class the seats are nice and spaced out so uh, probably not too much of a an issue with everybody wearing the uh, mandatory face masks oh, thank you. in addition to the usual business class kits they've given us one of these amenity bags which has two antiseptic wipes and a mask. Might as well make use of one of these uh, antiseptic wipes first before I touch anything else. Uh, probably should have been the first thing I did. But I... Yes, I'm very thirsty actually. <laughs> I guess your new uh, your new process is you don't serve drinks on the ride on the because of the COVID obviously. But still you could have asked for something when oh, I know. When I fly back I will definitely ask for something. Definitely. Oh, there you go. Thank you. So, uh, so could I have a glass of champagne? And also Bloody Mary as well? <laughs> One thing I would say about Cathay's service in business class is that 
Uh, they don't seem to understand that aperitifs should be served to you pretty much as soon as you're in the air and not at the same time with food. So now I've got my champagne, uh, my Bloody Mary and my dinner all sat here. So I guess I'm going to be drinking very, very quickly. And on that note, uh, I would say I'm very fortunate to be in business class because in uh, economy, apparently, they will only give you uh, a single meal item and there is no choice on board these flights. So, uh, in the business class, the menu looks pretty much like it always is. Main course, uh, salad, dessert. And here's the other exciting thing about mealtime. Not only do I get to eat and I'm absolutely starving, but also it's the only time on board the flight that you're allowed to take your face covering off. So... Here we go, and bon appetit. So, uh, like I said, Cathay doesn't seem to understand the concept of an aperitif. So, feedback for you, Cathay. Cheers, by the way. But uh, as far as cooking beef goes, Cathay is the only airlines that I've been on that has managed to serve me beef that's still pink, uh, which is really excellent. So, um, well done for that. Cafe, sort out your aperitif, but I've always been a fan of food and cafe. So, yeah, look at that beef, that's just really lovely. So, I just got offered some chocolates from a box which I was absolutely convinced that that was not going to happen in fact I was starting to prepare what I was going to tell people about why and before the COVID pandemic times uh, the cafe attendants would come along with this box of chocolates and offer it to you and now that it's COVID-19 that that is not happening anymore apparently chocolates are fine and pre-boarding drinks are not not really sure how that works, but hey, I took some anyway. Um, you know, no one was touching it. The flight attendant had sort of uh, little tongs to take them up, and I think they're fine. I really enjoyed that meal, probably more than usual, and I'd say I normally enjoy Cafe's meal offering uh, quite a lot anyway, but the fact that um, just having that meal and kind of really having what I normally have just brought back a whole lot of memories and nostalgia. I say this as if it was like 30 years ago, but it's only been like six and a bit months ago, but you know, it feels like a whole different world that we live in now. So it's nice to be able to just go back to a little bit of times and live sort of like it was you know with some extra proportions but somewhat like it was before the whole COVID-19 thing so uh, to do my part I've been drinking pretty much as if uh, drinking pretty much like I did before and so so far I've had a champagne a Bloody Mary a red wine so I've skipped a white wine had a red wine, had dessert, port wine, had a very large cognac. They really do like give large measures here uh, in cafe. So um, not sure I'm gonna finish this, but I'm gonna savor it. Think of the times before the world went to shit with coronavirus. Uh, maybe watch a, uh, well I'm watching a little bit of uh, Cathay's very excellent in-flight entertainment I'm watching Harley Quinn at the moment and maybe get some sleep although usually I do get distracted by the entertainment system uh, so who knows maybe get some sleep but I'll see you guys later maybe for breakfast my hands because in these COVID-19 pandemic times washing your hands is and I thought I'd also
this will just check out what's in one of these business class I mean it's bags which uh, are actually a little bit different to the ones I had previously uh, I've flown Cathay business class for years now and this has changed since the last four years that I've been flying Cathay business class so they're now from Bamford don't really know who they are but they do feel uh, really nice so as always you have a really nice eye mask from Cathay Pacific and then you have some earplugs so so far just the normal <laughs> this is not going well a little bit of toothpaste which is always handy especially when going holiday because that I find that these toothpaste tubes pretty much last you the entire holiday uh, and just after I film this I'm going to be brushing my teeth and this is a little bit new we now have a hydrating face mist from Bamford uh, which is probably quite handy I'm gonna miss my face later but not with a mask on a uh, little mouthwash toothbrush and some hand and body lotion which I think is much better because previously they gave you hand lotion face lotion and lip balm uh, I think just having lotion is fine I don't think you need to be that specialized if you were that fussy about it you would bring your own stuff so uh, and a little bit of lip balm because you, your lips and stuff always get dry on an airplane so these look really nice I like the colors and I'm gonna brush my teeth so see you back at the seat I must say I am a fan of these new Cathay Bamford kits they feel much more luxurious uh, and the contents make sense. If there's such a thing as smell vision then you would be smelling my Colgate fresh breath. But I don't think that's such a thing yet, so uh, let's just leave it at that. And I'm gonna go finish watching this movie and maybe sleep and I'll catch you guys later. And it's still over three hours before we get to London Heathrow. Woke up and I was feeling uh, not particularly hungry, but kind of fancied something hot and soupy. So I have gone for a little snack that they always offer, which is uh, noodles. So just like normal, they are continuing with full service. You can get uh, just hot snacks during the flight, which you get wonton noodles or a beef burger, I think is the other option, uh, or also a salad, or if you just fancy some little snacks. seem to have parked uh, at the furthest gate away from where we need to go because I've lost track of how many uh, these uh, travelators that we've been on but you know nothing like a little morning exercise here in Heathrow 
I think the main dominating thing is all the signs telling you to fill in the uh, coronavirus tracker which when I had to fill it in when I checked in the Hong Kong airport that took a while so definitely make sure you have pre-filled it in uh, there's a few signs about mandatory wearing of face coverings and I saw some uh, sort of hand sanitizing stations as well Breeze right through immigration, got here to baggage reclaim at quarter past five and uh, we saw you know, all these guys offloading things off the carousel so I thought wow that's super speedy which makes sense because we are the only flight here at this time but you know it's 45 minutes later and I'm still trying to see where my bag is. I usually have priority baggage flying business class but my bag was definitely one of, not one of the first that came out so yeah let's see what this is is this Brexit Britain finally and here I am in the UK I must say that I really enjoyed the flight yesterday, uh, not just because it's been so long since I've taken a flight anywhere that, you know, it's just a bit almost nostalgic to be taking a flight, but also Cafe Pacific, I think, delivered very much to its usual high standards and especially in business class. I guess now it's the million dollar question that some of you may have which is, should you be flying during this coronavirus pandemic? So I guess everyone has different circumstances, everyone has their own situation and their views about things. But for me, I felt comfortable that the risks were manageable. And that was two main things that for me are very important in my decision uh, to fly, which is one, that the aircraft and everything was sanitized to a very high standard and two, that everyone on board, including the crew, including the passengers, were wearing face masks for you know, as much of the flight as possible. And Cathay Pacific definitely did both of those things. Uh, face masks in particular were mandatory throughout the entire flight. And the only time you're allowed to take a face mask off is when you're eating and I think walking around, I observed that that was pretty much um, uh, complied to by all passengers, so I felt very comfortable. Well, that's it guys. I hope you found this video informative, useful, or maybe entertaining. If you could help me out, please do click that like button below, and also please do leave me a comment. I would absolutely love to know what you thought of this video, of my flights and also whether you would consider flying at this time. Nice. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, then please do check out some of my other videos where I go on unusual adventures all around the world. In fact, next I'll be going to Malta and I'll be flying Ryanair this time. So uh, wish me luck, I guess, but you know, it's gonna be a very different experience to flying Cathay Pacific's business class. What? Thanks for watching all the way till the end. I hope that you keep healthy, keep safe, keep happy, and I will see you guys in the next video. But in the meantime, you can also catch me on Instagram, which I use quite a lot. So take care, everyone. Bye.